You're out of <laughs> you're out of the library now. Silence. It says. Is is the abomination lair in the center tunnel or the left tunnel? Well, center tunnel. Silence. Okay. Let's stealth to that tunnel. Cool. I'm not even going to require a stealth roll. You guys uh, just look out when dinosaurs looking away. You go whoop, whoop, whoop into the center one. It's really easy, John. And everyone's you're here. Um, fortunately, it's not super loud when you're not talking to it. So that's something to enjoy. Uh, you go in there and you find another one of those weird crystal table things. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. The crystals are not lit up. They're just there. They Well, they're dimly, dimly lit up. Uh, near that room is a door beyond, which leads to a uh, small opening that contains a pit. The pit seems to go down further than you can see. I, um, I bought you throw one of those glow sticks down there. Hmm. Okay. No problem. You chuck it in, it goes, disappears, you never hear it hit. Don't go down there. Cool. Uh, what color glow cool. stick, by the way? What color? Uh-huh. Oh, I think they're just white for light. Right, got it. <laughs> um, ask the skull if that's one of the gates. It is a gate, but not one you wish to use. Silence. Where does it go? Above this land. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you... you. Neither of you know how to read the guides yet. No. Okay. Okay. I think this might be the page that they mentioned. Well, the red person mentioned. Probably. There's nothing else down here. Yep. Just apparently a bottomless pit that comes out somewhere that you don't want. And a table full of uh, gem things. Are any missing? Negative. All of them are there. If this was the computer, it would seem to be on standby, is what the computer guru of your party is guessing. Um, oh, wise skull head. Are there, any, are there any plants or mushrooms or something that we can gather that I can eat that would knock me out for, say, an hour? I don't know what your primitive biology allows you to be knocked out from versus dying. Silence. Freddy, yeah. what kind of weapons are you looking for? Uh, are we really gonna, okay. Uh, a sword or a gun, preferably Pistol. a gun. Pistol, yeah, sure. Okay. okay uh, are we there. really gonna find him now? <laughs> I mean, right, right now. If we kill him, then we never have to come back here. Yeah. But what if we go back, grab some actual armor and weapons? Maybe if he doesn't. Maybe if he doesn't grenades, and then come back and kill him. You don't have armor. You don't have armor. No, I have no. I have literally just the jacket and pants. Well, 
I speak into the sleeve tube. What are the weaknesses of this general? What? Does he have natural armor or? I have never met a general, Silence. You must beware of his minions. They fly about on dinosaurs doing patrols. Silence. And by the way, that leads me on to, on to another plan that we were discussing with. Adam Riding a dinosaur? I am into well, this plan. Not exactly, but no. uh, we were considering potentially um, because the dinosaurs are controlled by some interesting remote the control thing, if uh, we can get excuse, into that. Excuse me, young lady. Or, no, actually, I didn't know your lady. Uh, young shaved ape, says the skull within the uh, sweater. Yes? Um, some of the slee stack are awake. They do periodic patrols. You are in great danger of being anywhere this side of the chasm. Silence. We would not be able to reason with them to help attack the general? No. They are barely functioning, reasoning individuals. Silence. Right. Let's jet, guys. Uh, if the, come up. Time to sneak past a dinosaur. Woo! I'm giving her a card for remembering there's a dinosaur to sneak past as opposed to, we leave, yeah. Logan. Aha, dinosaur. Rawr. Fuck. Definitely stealth when we bug out. Are you bugging out now, or would you like to stay and chat some more? No, nope, we're bugging out now. I was going to let Freddy borrow my backup pistol. He hands you a gun. Dun, dun, cool. dun, dun. I'm a, uh, what kind of gun is it? A modern gun or Old West gun? It's a future pistol. Where did you get it from? From Night City. Okay, great. Got like 20 shots. Uh, probably heavy pistol because they really hate other humans. Okay. Something like that. I don't know. Do you have different stats on it, Glenn? If you do, give them what stats you got. Um, I think it's a D10. Great. I got 30 bullets for it. Oh, there you go. Everybody, give me a stealth roll to jet out past the dinosaur. Uh, you really wish you had a holster for the pistol, but since you don't, you get to carry it in your hand. The same way you'd carry a skull in your hand if you were stuck with a skull and a sweater. I made it stealth. Did anybody fail it so the dinosaur can come and eat you? Uh, hold on, I made all that. So I was typing the. Pistol. No worries. I'm just curious if a dinosaur is going to eat the whole party. Probably. Ah, ninja. Right. You guys ninja past the dinosaurs that's playing with its uh, young. And um, right, you go back to. Can't say that the session hasn't been full of action, eh? Um, <laughs> right. You go back to. Uh, you could either go back to the bluff, which leads to the crevasse that you can cross, or you go past the temple to get to the crevasse. Either way. The sunburst temple with the fucking retarded uh, uh, sundial in the midst. Either way. Are you just heading back to the crevasse? Um, yeah, we'll go back over the crevasse. No problem. You guys head back on over the crevasse, and that leads you back into the jungle. Um, give me spot hidden rolls at negative 30, everybody, as you are back in the jungle and whatnot. Yes. Does that also make it negative 60, Sheila? Do you have a 78 or better in spot I accurate? do not. All right. You find two interesting things, Sheila, as I believe you made it the best. First, up, a, up ahead and off to the left, you see a, kind of a uh, something white glowing that direction. Uh, and then 
kind of straight ahead and a little bit more to the uh, right, you see another pylon. In fact, there may be more pylons here in the jungle. Nobody's really wandered around looking. I whisper to the other guys and say, shall we go pick up your glow stick, Glenn? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cut two, you guys pick up his glow stick. Yep, that's your glow stick. Hooray. Is Everybody not looks up. Is There's nothing up, up there except sky. <laughs> there. You, it, it looks like it's a little bit buried in the ground as though it fell from a tremendous height. Definitely more than enough, you're going to guess, uh, to splatter somebody very effectively. Well, it was a gate. It was a gate. All right, guys, okay. I say uh, thank you to the skull. <laughs> If 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 we're gonna kill him, fine. You will kill him. Gonna... <laughs> what? But if we're gonna try and leave, I need one of you who is a skilled martial artist to put me into a sleeper, knock me out, and drag me through. You want to be yeah, unconscious when you get wet. I do not want to be awake when we're near the waterfall. Your boundaries are understood. <laughs> you think you can spot here with your amazing spot hidden a grand total of three different uh, of those pylons. They're not that far from each other, but it's hard to say. If you want to spend like half an hour, an hour wandering around the jungle, you can find out for sure. But you thought you caught a glimpse of sunlight off of something from directions there, uh, Dana Zul. Mm -hmm. okay. So we went back past High Bluff and into the jungle? Uh-huh. Or, okay. Well, you went past the, uh, you went past Bluff to Crevice to Jungle. From jungle, you have several choices because you haven't gotten to High Bluff yet. You can either go through the jungle, get back to High Bluff, or you go from jungle to Forbidden Jungle, or you go from jungle to Tar Pit, or you <laughs> go from jungle to Swamp, or you can go jungle to Bridge. The bridge wow. is where you came from. So there are many ways to go here. If you've never been to the Swamp before, wouldn't that be a treat? Mm -hmm. Or you go see the tar pits, and because when you have dinosaurs, you always have a tar pit for some unlucky, stupid dinosaur to fucking die in, or some PC. If <laughs> either way, either way. <sighs> whenever I, I've noticed, whenever Scott plays, he seems to get a stress headache. <laughs> I'm not sure why, why that is, but I've noticed it seems to be a consistent thing. That and the sign. Also, just 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 in case we have no other choice, I am willing to run through the waterfall, but if I defecate everywhere, you're going to clean up. Okay? Well, I'll just stick you in the water. <laughs> all the places to do it. <laughs> Like self flushing. Yeah. I'm just saying, I may lose control of all bodily functions. So. That would be a treat to see. You. Fascinating. Let's go to the swamp. <laughs> he wants to take you to land that is partially water and doesn't know which it is. No problem. The swamp, just so you know, is heading west of here a bit. Oh, crap. Right. You guys head on over to the swamp, and everybody give me a spot hidden roll. You leap beside those silly pylons of doom. Glenn's oblivious. Um, does that make it for Sheila? No. Nope. Excellent. The one guy who sees it is something... Uh, is the guy who's looking closest at the water. I've uncovered a new picture next to the picture of the dinosaur. This one's much bigger, and it seems to be, like, laying in wait, 
and you notice that the other two are going to blunder by where it is. It's got two heads and seems to be fucking big. And it's waiting. They're like going do do do, and it's waiting until they walk right by it, and they'll probably eat both of them. Is your guess? I, I kind of put a hand on both of their shoulders to stop them, and I'm like, dinosaur, stop. <laughs> where? I stop. I point it out. He then points at it and he goes, Roar! everybody give me a yeah. safety roll as it realizes the gig is up and explodes out of the water with its two heads of snapping. Oh, that's cool. I, I wasn't sure how this would go. If you Man. fail it, it's only D6 points of damage. Oh, my goodness, thank you. If you succeed, it's only one point. Okay. Toward dinosaur. No problem. It, it is lunging out toward you. It doesn't seem to be particularly good on the ground, but it is motivated. What do you guys want to do? It seems to be more water dinosaur. Run? Simple sprint roll will get you yep, away from I'm you. out. I'm out. Run. I'm out. Back I'm the out. direction you came Sprinting from? Sprinting at half. Back toward to where you came from? or? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Right. Didn't make my run. No problem. It is going to menace the shit out of her, and she's going into standard combat. So am I, apparently. Let me uh, use one of my reroll cards. How about that? Uh, there you go. I want to fight the dinosaur? <laughs> right. Freddy is left behind at the dinosaur with his pistol and with bullets, <laughs> wondering if they'll do any good against this huge thing. It's bigger than an elephant that's coming after Freddy. They have uh, special rifles just for hunting elephants because rigor bullets can't penetrate. Sheila dramatically trips over a, a root in the ground, thus dismaying her entire gender and sending back women's rights movements a good 50 years. I <laughs> have another reroll card. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Took a lightning to do a point there. Yes, you love There we go. There she goes. She speeds up and ignores the tree root. All that running. I'm going to hear a point mine. She There's uses no the way. power of veganism. All right, cool. You use the power of a hero point. And right, you guys managed to get back into the jungle. Uh, everybody give me a spot hit and roll at half as you run back into the jungle. Because you got to run through the jungle. <laughs> Did not make it half. Perfect. Yeah. It's best if nobody makes anything. All right. You guys blunder around the jungle for a while. Anything special you want to do here? Maybe try a different direction? Or did you want to sneak back and see if the very angry, huge, scary dinosaur is still wanting food? From here, I'm, you... I'm just like... Then uh, can you just, just ask the head where the damn waterfall is, please? I would, I would <laughs> like to point out... General. Mm -hmm. I would like to point out that uh, it's only because there was water that something jumped out of it. Had there not been any water, you would not have encountered an air sandy draining dinosaur, Freddy. You've got to work with your insanities on this. <laughs> yeah, see how it is? So from here, you can either go to Tar Pit, explore the jungle, go into Forbidden Jungle, or go back to High Bluff, or try the swamp again, or go back to the Stone Bridge. You've got like six different choices here. What? What's special about the Forbidden Jungle? You have no idea. It's spooky. It it looks forbidding. I'm gonna wait to play Happy Pie. Ah. Which means you guys can draw one card. Happy Pie. Thank you. Thank you. What? Would you like to go look through the Forbidden Jungle and see what's up there? Yeah. All right, Matt. In return, hey, that, is that, I... that was just me. In a suspicious omen, discard all, draw one in compensation. Mm, that is an inauspicious omen. Possibly because you looked in the direction of the forbidden jungle. <laughs> the opponent fails on top. Can't grab it. Yeah, can't do anything about it. What was your one card? Was it discard all your cards card? No. 
It's a helpful librarian card. Yeah. It's not very helpful, actually, but okay. So, silence. <laughs> Everybody likes that library for some reason. So, um, right. Which uh, are you going into Forbidden Jungle? It's forbidding. It just looks a little bit darker, evil, more ominous. That's all. Other than that, nothing special. Mm. Hmm? Explore the regular jungle first. No problem. You guys eventually find that there are not one, not two, not three, but four fucking pylons in there. I want to look in each one. Wow. Bing. Right. Okay. To make a long story short, they all look exactly the same inside. Uh, the fourth one does not open for some reason. It looks like it's right a rock. It's not black. All of them are like the silvery thing. Uh, but the fourth one just doesn't open. You hear muted laughter when you try to open it. But the rest, uh, it's from your sweater, the rest are all uh, normal pylon looking pylons. Do they all have the same configuration of stones? They're all differently laid out, but they seem to have the same number of stones. Apparently, the complex pattern is very important to them. Ah, oh, this fucking cat. Excuse me a moment. Ask the skull why it won't open. Why are you outside? Outside? Okay. I'm really glad that the skull doesn't need food or special hygienic yeah. smoke. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to just put that thing in, like, the white dove and just... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who walks in just gets beaten by it or something. You guys want to try the tar pit? Well, I mean, if the goat is inside... If the goat's inside this thing, we can try and I'll use it. But... Yeah, we'll find out. So I'm imagining that, hoping that we can snipe the general. I, I, I can't. Well, yeah, sure. It I'm okay-ish with my. But. Cat's like it's cold and dark. I'm not going outside to shit. I'll wait and <laughs> shit here when you're not expecting it, Logan. <laughs> so. Uh, I ask the skull, why won't this one open? None shall open it, because they will never figure out the complexities needed to open it. Silence. Ah. Did Alex open it? Yes. <laughs> it says... <laughs> it really doesn't. I seem knock good. on it three times. All right. It doesn't meet you in the morning. Like 70s. Anyway, nothing <laughs> happens. Okay. Um, mm. Let me Certainly, see. other monkeys, shaved monkeys with anxiety, have opened it, but you will never figure it out. And like them, I shall never tell you. You will Why? not know the time. Ha, ha, ha. Silence. Why won't you tell us? Silence. It is beyond your power, it is beyond your grasp. It is mysterious and powerful. And it's Did you say the time. Silent. <laughs> so you just have to wait. Oh. Uh -huh. It doesn't say shit. Can you open it? Silent. Well, what kind of healthy shit now. am I reduced to using? Oh. <laughs> Scary. They're, they mentioned the the gate that was inside the obelisk was uh, dangerous. Yeah. So it's probably not the ideal exit. You are meddling with powers beyond your comprehension, Silence. Of course we yeah. are. 
cut it out. Silence. I'm still waiting to oh. wake up. Hey, Skull. Do you know anything about the the red figure in the Sundial Temple? The Builder. He knows all, says little silence. Oh. If you speak to him, be certain to ask only the most complicated questions as you only receive one in your entire life. <laughs> have you asked anything? No, I have nothing I need to know. I am the skull of wisdom silence. Can you ask it something on our behalf? No, silence. <laughs> okay. Let's go kill the general. He's in the east. If you kill the general, I will ask a question on your behalf. Silence. <laughs> really, guys? That was the motivation, just... not like saving the multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's like, I'm what's old. the best pizza? Ask him that. <laughs> I'm all for saving the multiverse and all that, but I hold out the pistol. All I have is this. And we're going up against some all-powerful general. I mean, it can't be all-powerful. Well, I, mean, you know. I am all-powerful. <laughs> he clutches all four arms. <laughs> yes, four arms. Except that for that's four arms. That means that's twice as many as normal person. Places for a tickle attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a he lot of arms. From a, he came from a race that developed aerosol deodorant before the wheel. <laughs> mm. I'm going to go check him out. You guys can. Uh, do you know where he is? Uh, Said in the east. East. Just to point out, east locations are either the Forbidden Jungle or High Bluff. Hmm. That's east of where you're at now. Okay. Lead the way. I reluctantly follow. Where do you lead them to? High Bluff or the Forbidden Jungle of Death? Uh, definitely the second part. Done. You guys head through there and you find a big fucking waterfall. Hey. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it is huge and loud and you can feel uh, your, your poop wanting to release there, Freddy. Um, everybody give me a spot hidden at either negative 60 or a quarter. Your choice. Made it. Okay. <laughs> you make it too, Dana? Yes. They both they both point at it and look at each other and go. And Freddie's like, yeah. You guys like... see that what <laughs> looked like a really shitty, very hard to climb path. When I say path, in the loosest possible sense of the word goes up and possibly behind it. The path is mostly gone. It looks dangerous as fuck to go up there is what I'd written. Pretty much it's a, if you fall, you're going to take a lot of damage and then probably drown. And you're thinking also, FYI, your chances of actually carrying somebody unconscious or cowering up there are about the same as Logan winning the Boston Marathon <laughs> without using a car. Or so a there's car. a chance. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I didn't want to gate anyway. Well, I'm just saying, if everybody's motivated and good at rock climbing and shit, this would not be a thing. They'd be like, whoop, up we go, and all that. But... Freddie is looking like, no. In fact, 
You can do a neat experiment where if you walk toward it, you see him get lower and lower. And if you get too close, he just falls on the ground, lays there, and you back away. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, wow. You guys can give me uh, psychoanalysis roles to know something fun about Freddy if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> He seems to be a moderately severe hydrophobe. He could take a shower. He wouldn't like it. He'd be unhappy about taking a shower. More unhappy with the bath. Could cross small streams, but the bigger the water, the bigger the danger. And he knows it. There's probably a fucking something horrible in the huge pool at the bottom of the waterfall ready to grab his ass and drag him down. Oceans? Fuck no. Because everything big lives in the oceans. He knows that. The bigger the water, the bigger the peril. And this is big enough for plenty of peril. Your Freddie estimates he could fit two, maybe three shug offs in the pool. <laughs> How's that, Freddie? Is that a good analysis? Yeah, uh, very, very accurate. Yep. <laughs> he got not one, so I gave him the whole deal. So, I mean, spraying water on him, great prank. Toss him in the ocean, he'll shit himself and die. Great. Mm. Always good to have parties, members with crippling disabilities with you. I mean, there was a second waterfall. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that one's yeah. all sunshine and rainbows. And dry. And a one way gate mutters the uh, sweater. One way gate to wear. Here. Oh. Where does this one go? I do not know, silence. But away. Now, Freddy is just fucking tearing his hair out because he wants to go away, but he is stuck here, and the, there's water between him and there. What if... Well, I think we could make... I blindfolded myself? Your chances of actually making that super dangerous climb yeah, no. <laughs> would not be good. And plus, just blindfolding yourself makes it worse because it's something you're really scared about. I'm going, okay, I know there's a monster in the closet, but I'm going to blindfold myself because that way when it jumps out and fucking eats me, no, blindfold, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, we could make. The climb safer with rope and pitons, but oh, yeah. I still think he's not going to be able to wrestle him up there. Mm. Also, uh, that would use up all your rope and pitons. Just FYI. Yeah. Because you don't just made keep much on you. But I'm going to and just pull me up there. Once you get to the top. The girl might be at a huge, huge disadvantage on their climb. Sure. No, no, no. Once they, once they get up, drop like a rope or a yeah, swing. Yeah, you're, you're trying, you're trying to get around your insanity. I'm saying that your insanity is preventing you from going. Oh, okay. Wanting to go there, yeah. you're not going to suggest like you guys would knock me out or put me in a bag or whatever because you know you're going to die if you go there. <laughs> It's not a knock my ass out. Mr. T didn't beg to be knocked unconscious before getting put in a chopper. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Do I see any tracks around here? Give me a tracking roll. Or ever. Nope, I don't. My God for that, you uh, think. You were really worried there for a minute. Uh, what are you looking for, Dana? Just to see if this is... Uh, been used recently by bad general guy or oh. anything. Let me check for tracks. I made it. Just a lot of angry, evil, hungry predators of monstrous uh, dinosaur kinds. Yeah, just monsters. <laughs> Everybody breathes a sigh of relief. Mm -hmm. Anything else in the Forbidden Jungle? 
Nope. You'll have to go back to a regular jungle, back to high bluff, and then you can continue on your and then watering hole, and then you can continue east. Hmm. But yeah, apparently a forbidden jungle, not a bad choice. But that waterfall climb, that does look pretty fucking nasty. I mean, if you had the rope and pitons and shit, that that would be a quite a help. But with Freddy, I mean, if you were to put a piton through his head even and his dead body and you were trying to drag it up there, that would still be a massive challenge. Yeah. Well, so you got to find out what was in the forbidden jungle through the bravery of Dana Zool. Unfortunately, from the mental problems of Freddy, you don't get to find out if she's right. Well, I mean, unless unless one person wanted to go up and go check it out and come back and tell the heirs, but that sounds freakishly dangerous. Not fun. So, where to? I think. I think. Either we have two options. Three, technically, if we want to kill the general somehow. Mm-hmm. The other two are look for the other waterfall, which is maybe smaller and less dangerous. And the other one is to go back to the obelisk and try and open it. Silence. But, Ideally, we'll have a escape plan before we do any killing. Yes. That's, too. That's a good idea. So you're not planning on being very thorough in the killing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to kill the entire dinosaur army. Hmm. That's all the movie. We don't know what kind of protection he has. True. Didn't the head... I'll talk to the skull. Did you say that the other waterfall looped back to this one? No. Silence. Loops back to this oh, no. whole place. Silence. It's a one-way oh, thing. It, it was a one-way yeah. gate. That didn't leave the zone. Oh, this one, but the other waterfall. He said the other waterfall is one way. This one is a proper one. This one, he didn't know where it goes. Well, we assume it's a proper one. Yeah. (sighs) So both waterfalls leave this zone? No. No, the second one doesn't. So this why do we want the second waterfall? No, I, I forgot that. I forgot that. That it didn't leave. So never mind that one then. As a quick escape? Mm. Okay. Did we want to look at the tar pit and almost get eaten there before we go back to High Bluff? Or, you, or like I said, you could just, if you want to send up one person just to see what it's all about at the waterfall and the freakishly dangerous climbing and all that, you could do that as well. Yeah, yeah but I really don't like gates. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Um. Looks like so we need one to find person goes through the gate and because <laughs> he has slipped on a rock and fell in or something. Oh, we want to find the cave gate. And that I is how Freddy did. came to live in the zone without coffee shops or Wi-Fi. I think I think we did find it, unless it was not a gate. We do not count oh. such things. It is only one of the rips within the. Oh. Okay. Which way is the gate that's in a cave? I do not know. Do you know where there are any other caves? 
Silence in the ground somewhere. No monkey, find it. Okay. <sighs> I guess we look around. Uh, believe me, I will point out any and all caves without your needing to do a special looking. I am not one of those shitty GMs. It's like, you didn't say you look for a secret door, so you didn't find it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I want to spend a, <coughs> all night searching every 10-foot section of wall because I'm, <laughs> I'm a hack. Let's check the tar pit. Okay. You guys go back to the tar pit. Uh, other than uh, some various dead creatures and whatnot that were super stupid and interested in taking their genes right out of the gene pool. There doesn't seem to be anything there. Looking around, you verify. There is nothing there other than like, wow, this is a tar pit. That's kind of cool. Seriously, I mean, not everywhere is all that. Okay. I mean, you could, if you were running, because, like, it's not just, like, a big swimming pool. There's, like, little bits of ground. So if you're being chased and you brought something through here, yeah, maybe that would work. Hmm. Assuming you could outrun a dinosaur doing, like, 20 miles an hour. But... Making that wild stretch there just for a second. Maybe in a golf cart. <laughs> Stolen from Mar a Lago. <laughs> okay. That's a dead end. Um, <laughs> have we explored the mountains for the orchids? No, you explored. You explored the northern mountains, which were, were what you were in earlier, and found all that was of interest in the northern mountains. The southern mountains, and possibly, if there are eastern and western mountains, may have different sanity draining things in there for Glenn to find and sigh deeply about. There's just no way of knowing until you hear him sigh deeply. It could be all kinds of new sanity loss as well. Just in case he's maxed out one, we could move into something else. Like he sees a waterfall of blood and goes, ah, human gore, gross out, God. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> Glenn sighing would be the awesomest ringtone ever. Just loud, continual sighing until you answer it. <sighs> Sounds like we need to go back to High Bluff. Got two? It's starting to get toward evening by the time you guys roll back into High Bluff. Okay. Oh, yeah, but if you, um, Dana Zool, you can, if you want, since you've seen how you looked around, give me a survival fold to set up some very basic survival things. Yep. Wanna did you make it by half the well? again. I did not quite make it at half. You guys are hydrated, but you're hungry as fuck. Okay. One of those pretty, pretty pigs would go down and treat. Okay. Forgot those. Meal bars. Ah, it passes out food. Is it vegan friendly or no? Um, no, with extra. I'm going to say stuff. yes. Okay, <laughs> got it. You unwrap it and hand it to her. She looks at it suspiciously and eats it. Got it. It shows the factory they make them in where they're fucking whipping monkeys, making them make them. And... <laughs> <laughs> but is the food um, vegan? <laughs> should we just go back to the cave we came from? Yeah, I think we'll want to spend the night in that cave again if it's unoccupied. It, it is. Um, apparently, Dana Zool's good at uh, outdoorsy shit. She makes it much more comfortable than before. You've got, like, beds of uh, uh, ferns and stuff to sleep on. I mean, it's not a fucking 
the Ritz or anything, but she makes it really comfortable to uh, stay in for another night. Cool. She's good at this stuff. Unfortunately, Dana, you're wishing you had some things like a small hand axe or a large knife. Oh, I've got a thing. <clears throat> a thing. A thing. <laughs> Show some uh, offering sex toys with this help. I've got the hatchet slash hammer slash crowbar slash wrench. That fucking makes life easier. You guys have a very comfortable nature cave to hang out in. Uh, fire or no fire? Well, it's warm. So. I think right. you know, a fire is not made purely for warmth, sir, when you're outdoors. Yeah, it's also light as well, yeah. It's light, yeah. it's comfort, it's uh, keeping away insects. Uh, it's the ability to heat up your monkey-made uh, bar of food. It's good for keeping away wildlife, but if there's any, anything intelligent out here on patrol, then they'll spot it. So, I'd rather with some more ferns set up a type of screen over the opening. Ooh. Done. Nice. Now that I have a tool. Good work, uh -huh. The tool makes it so much easier. I mean, you could make your own, but. Yeah, the minimum you need to, to use survival skill is, un unless you've got flint nearby, a knife. A knife will let you get everything else eventually. It just takes a lot longer. Okay. So no fire, but you've got a screen that keeps out a lot of the bugs and stuff. It's relatively comfortable night. Are you keeping watches and stuff? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, let me roll some shit here. All right. It all comes down to Freddy. Freddy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. Give me a willpower roll. Lower is better. Well, it goes Freddy, Scott, Sheila. Yeah. Why is it not? Gonna roll. Um, so, welcome to it. All right. That's it. That's it. Okay. Time four. You're sitting there, like you've got like a people type thing in the screen. It's not a fucking tight ass screen or anything. It's enough to keep out some stuff and all that, which is great. But you're watching, and you see over the jungle. It's it's almost completely silent. It's some sort of ship or shape. It's like a kind of a rectangle thing in the air. And then every now and then you see like a bright fucking spotlight stab down and then it goes off and then kind of silently going around. Is it coming towards us? Not really. It's not going away from me. It's not coming towards you. It's just kind of going by, but you're super happy right now. You didn't make a campfire. And apparently it shows that Glenn is not as silly as he looks in that hat. <laughs> Fucking fedoras, you think? Um, kind of man doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, okay. You're the only one awake currently. I'm gonna wake them up like, gently and be like, guys, give me a lock roll real quick, honey. Okay. Yep. Okay. Barely made it. Got it. No problem. Sorry. Please continue with what you're saying to them. I'm like, guys, there's a weird spaceship thing with lights outside. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if it's bad or what. <laughs> I go look. He's the most nonchalant guy ever. He just goes, oh, and just lays there for a while before deciding <laughs> to get up. Like, yeah, you know. Uh, what does Dana do when woken up by this uh, dude? I sit up 
and then I lay back down, and then I just sit up, and it goes into crunches for a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Um, right, you go and look out. Uh, give me a spot hit and roll at negative 30 there uh, for Glenn. No. There's no fucking spaceship out here. God damn, waking you up middle you of the now. You guys look at the empty darkness. Various uh, creatures and animals scream at each other, uh, whether they're being territorial, being eaten, wanting to have sex. There's just no telling at all. It sounds like everything is fucking screaming at each other, as is normal in the fucking jungle. There was a state, well, a flying thing in the sky, and there were lights coming down. Like, I'm just, like, you know the movies where the aliens like pull people up or something? It was kind of like one of those things. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to say I was surprised. This place has a lot going on. <laughs> For such a small place? Yeah, it really does. I mean, you, you pretty much, uh, you, you didn't walk all the way across it, but you you've gone a bit and this was like over a day uh, you know you went you went to the the fucking uh library and then back within the same day so anyway i think did it's it, gone now did it look like the handy show spaceship <laughs> uh you logan idea, you've never seen the handy show you have no idea what they're battling about What's a handy show? Is it like a an adult film thing or? <laughs> Take a card. Probably, but I was never a good enough actor for those scenes. Ooh. <laughs> That'd be Davina's job, I'm afraid. It's a Is it television bad TV show? show. That we had to work at in one of the zones because we needed money. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so why would it be in the sky then? Well, we were on a realistic looking version of the set that we used a moment ago. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Complete with yeah, the handy robot. Mm hmm. <laughs> Take a check in essence. <laughs> yeah, more weird shit going on in the zone, uh, Freddie, that you had no idea about. Maybe didn't want to know about, but by gosh, there it is. Yep. Well, um, since we're gone now, so. <laughs> if you want to go back to bed, I'll uh, wake you up if it comes back. Okay. Good work, Freddy. <laughs> and then I'm out. Thank, thanks. Freddy, give me a luck roll, boy. I just want you to fail this just for a bit of extra giggles for Logan. Doesn't both go to sleep and they're sleeping peacefully and Freddy's like looking. All of a sudden this fucking bright light just right on the cable. And the fucking spaceship pulls by and she's shining light. Fortunately, there's a big bamboo screen and shit that looks supernatural and just kind of goes by and you're like, yeah, give me a Sandy Roll versus screaming and shit like that, Freddy. Oh my goodness. Oh. This thing moves about on Cat claws. Nope. Right. And it shows the ship fly away. You guys both wake up because Freddy's just sitting in front of the fucking bamboo screen, screaming his fucking head off like he is freaked the fuck out. Did you find the waterfall? <laughs> <laughs> the ship came back. It's back. It's 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 it's. it's Mm, mm. <laughs> I go look. No, no. It shows like, the hey. peaceful night. Shows like <laughs> fucking, uh, I'm glad and like, hold on to him. No, don't go outside. Bad. Don't go outside. 
Looking out the peephole. I I'm gonna be over there. I'll go hide in the corner of the cave. There's nothing out I'm there. On the other end of the cave. Giving an air card to Dana for coming up with the whole screen thing because yes, they know the cave is here apparently and check on it. Looks like some garbage blew in. 